Well, all right, everyone. Hail and welcome to another Random Heathen Ramblings podcast episode. It has been a very long time since I've done one of these. And I wanted to just start off by saying before we get into the podcast episode today that I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate everyone's ongoing support, okay? I know it's been well over a month since I've done one of these podcasts. And there are a lot of factors that come into play with why that is. Um, But I just want to say thank you so much for supporting Midgard Musings, for listening. Um, Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you to my channel members on the YouTube channel. If you're watching this in the video format, um, this is part of what you get by supporting Midgard Musings in that way. Um, But for everyone listening and for everyone watching, a very special hail and thank you um, for being here and for, you know, like I said, being that support. So without further ado, let's just get into our intro, break through that noise as it were, and get into today's podcast. All right. Get that off for a second. So again, thank you all for um, just thank you all. You know, just want to say thank you. Um, it's been a rough time here for me lately, and I don't. Uh, I don't want to make any excuses for my absence. I just I want to be transparent a bit because I feel that. It is, um, it's the right thing to do, you know? Um, so I know that a lot of, a lot of people that, um, listen and support Midgard Musings don't follow what I do on all of my platforms. And so you may be wondering why after a month, uh, the silence has been broken. Um, in this sort of way. And the reason for the silence being broken is because of you. You know, I realize that when I take on tasks and when I take on things to do that are fun uh, for me to do that are educational and that are entertaining, hopefully, and that are engaging for people out here um, listening, watching, and being, you know, part of it all, um, that, uh, it's not just about me. This isn't just for me. This isn't just about me. This is about all of you. And it's about everyone who's decided to upvote a video or upvote a, a podcast or favorite a podcast or follow a platform or monetarily support what I do in some sort of way. And I am obligated to you guys in a a sort of way. And when I say obligated, and and that word obligation, you know, in a heathen context, it, um, it carries with it a lot more than just what someone might think of the word meaning on the surface level. You know, when you're obligated to someone, you owe them. And at least on the surface level, it's, it's, it's a sort of like, you know, I owe you, I'm obligated, I'm obliged to do this thing, that or the other. And to me, you know, obligation What does that mean to me in a heathen context? And what does that mean to me in my heathen worldview? Um, 
And have I fulfilled my obligations? Have I met the obligations set? Obligation is important in heathenry, I feel, especially at the hearth level, especially at the tribal level, because you cannot establish frith, which I've talked a lot about on my platforms. Um, you can't have frith without obligation. You cannot have obligation without frith. You can't, they are one, they, they, they go hand in hand. In, in a way, they 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 walk side by side with one another. There is a sense of obligation. There is a level of obligation that comes with frith because you um, trust um, people to a certain level, and you are willing and capable of doing more for those who have entered into that frith web with you and so therefore the obligation is not out of debt or out of necessity as so much as it is out of the understanding that you've got my back as much as i've got yours and my very dear brother of mine my my godi uh who's been on this podcast before and who's been featured on this channel um on the youtube channel many times and who i is again one of the very few who I call brother and give familial title to a kinship title to you know he said something that um that that really stood out to me and I'm going to read to you what he said because I feel that it's that it spoke volumes he says, the only time a brother sees my back is when he is protecting it. You know, so the, the thing that I guess I'm talking a bit about right now is obligation and the sense of, uh, of obligation and that when, you know, you have my back, I have your back, um, this sort of thing you guys that listen and watch like you have my back in a way like you support that's what support is now what dingo's talking about my my Gothi, what he's talking about extends way beyond just you know the surface level support which means a tremendous amount like like like, like don't get me wrong but in in that sort of way it's like you know i don't want you guys to <clears throat> I, I i what i don't want this to 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 get into is like oh we you know we're supporting you and what are we getting in return where's that reciprocal you know thing that you're always talking about where's that reciprocation where's that return um we're doing this and what are you giving in return and i feel like i've i've fallen short um on that level at least to the extent that things like this reach you know um This is educational. This is a learning thing for not just me, but hopefully for, for many, many others, you know? And it's not fair. It's not fair to you, the listener, the watcher, the viewer, the, the, the one who has taken that step, as it were, to, you know, be a support um have my back in a way you know um because if you support me then you then you you then you back what i do and i appreciate it i appreciate it greatly and for the last month or so where i've been you know negligent probably well if i look back at it and see it's it's, it's been well over a month where i've been negligent to to, to be engaging on this platform you're missing out on the thing that you want to support. Um, so this is kind of like a, you know, just, just letting it all out a little bit. 
Now, again, when I said at the beginning of the podcast and, and stuff about, you know, transparency and whatnot, for those that, that do follow what I uh, post on, on my various social medias, the Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, and Instagram. And, and, and for those who are friends on social media with me that see what I am tagged in and what I post um, and, and where I'm being tagged in certain posts, you uh, may have seen recent um, recent things uh, being shared from uh, my wife talking about things going on with my immediate family. And I'm going to be honest, you know, uh, again, in the effort and in the interest of being transparent is, is that a lot of the uh, <clears throat> negligence or, the, or, or a lot of the reason why I've been a bit dark um, on the podcasts and on the videos and, and, and things a bit lately. When I say dark, I'm, I don't mean like abysmal <laughs> in the content. What I mean is just like, not present, you know, in the dark sort of thing, um, is due to that and is due to the heavy, heavy weight that has befallen me uh, during these times. And, and I'm sure that the, the weight that has befallen um, my family during these times, because I am not trying to, you know, be the one over here that's like, well, it's woe is me, poor me, look at the suffering that I'm going through, look at the woes that I'm facing, boo-hoo. No, it's not what this is about. It's that I'm processing the pain. The pain is being felt across many different families and in many different ways, uh, and in ways that I, sure, that I am sure I am not 100% fully um, privy to. Um, but I'm processing the pain and I have been processing the pain um, of some recent family developments um, in, in, in my way and, 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 and things that are being processed by my family. They are processing it in their own way. And it's difficult and it's very hard and it hurts. Um, I don't. I don't know. You know, if this uh, reaches the ears or the eyes of those of whom I'm, I'm referring to when I talk about my family. But if it does, what I wanna say is that things are said out of emotional knee-jerk reactions that you don't always mean. And I myself, I myself am guilty of, of doing those very things. You know, I have said things that I, um, in the heat of a moment, because of the circumstances at the moment, I have said and done things that I did not truly mean. And When I say truly mean, I'm, I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm referring to is that that's not what I'm about. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the, the one that is just, you know, knee-jerk reaction to a, a situation, and that's the end-all be-all to the situation. My, my knee-jerk reaction is going to be what is taken away from the situation. No, it's the, the ugly truth, right, is that we often say and we often do things in the heat of a moment that we don't truly mean in our heart of hearts and, our, and in our souls, right? In the very depths of who we are. Um, a lot of people say things and a lot of people react in ways and perceive things only from the surface level. And you're only getting a very small percentage of, of the actual overall reality and truth when, when you react to it that way. Things go deep, roots go deep, wells, right? The well is 
bottomless. There's only layers to it. Okay, the bottom is not reachable. We don't ever get to the bottom of it. It's just layers and depths that we can reach at times. And the deeper we get, the deeper we go, the cloudier it can often get because we are going so far down, we're going so deep, that light is withheld. But the absence of light and the cloak of darkness is not inherently bad. It's not inherently wrong. It's not inherently evil. It is your perception of that at the time. I think a lot of folks tend to think that darkness translates to bad, that darkness translates to evil, that darkness translates to wrong. You know, and the, 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 the actuality of it, the, the, the truth of it is, is that in darkness, there is isolation, and in darkness, there is quiet. And in darkness, there is the opportunity to reflect inwardly. Because with all the noise, with all the light, right? I look at it this way. I look at it this way. Um, how can you see the, the moonlit sky, the starlit sky, any clearer than when you are in a place that is void of light pollution? Sometimes that light pollutes the beauty that is within the darkness. Sometimes you need to go deep and far and away in the darkness to see the beauty that it is and the truth that it is. You know, sometimes light is noisy. It's, it makes a racket. Sometimes you cannot just, you can't get the reality and the truth of things until you silence everything. Silence audible noise, silence visual noise, and just sit in silence and in the darkness. And then it can be scary. You know, it can be scary being in the dark. Because what have we all been taught? You know, there are monsters in the dark. It's bad in the dark. That's where all the bad things happen. And so our minds play tricks on us. You know, we, 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 we get lost in our own minds and in our perceptions of things instead of just allowing the darkness to show us what it can. So I've been in the dark. It's been very dark for me lately, you know? And that's okay. It's okay to be in the dark. And if you're ever in the dark, if you get lost sometimes out there, perhaps you get stuck out there too long. There's got to be a balance. Know who you can talk to. Know who you can reach out to. Because a lot of us have spent plenty of time in the dark that we know a way around the darkness. We know how to navigate in that thickness, in, that, in, that, in those depths, you know? And we can see what the dark can show us. The dark is not wrong. The dark is not bad. Sometimes the dark is necessary. So 
So with that being said, you know, um, hopefully this has shed a little bit of light, you know, from darkness comes light because it's always darkest before the dawn and that dawn, that dagas, that, that sudden boom of light, as it were, illuminates and brings with it hope. Because again, you can, you can spend time in the dark and it's fine. You spend too much time in the dark and the dark starts to consume and it, and it, and it starts to, you know, just be really, really depressing. So don't spend too much time in the dark, my friends. Don't spend too much time in the depths, okay? 615-671-9832. Um, if you guys want to call in to the Midgard Musings hotline, leave a voicemail. Share your thoughts. Would love to have your voice heard on this podcast. This podcast is the dawning, the morning, as it were. Um, really want to get back into doing these more and having some really fun discussions, having some fun, random heathen ramblings that I know so many people have talked about and support in, in so many different ways, you know? I want it to come back and I want to be doing it more because it's, it's, it, it is fun. It, it is absolutely fun. I love having people on here. I love having, you know, discussions, even if I can't get a guest just to get out here and just talk about some things, you know, um, it's not going to be a hove them all discussion today. Um, this is just mainly a, just a, Hey, it's, 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 it's mainly just a, Hey guys, I'm, I'm, I'm here and I'm, thankful for all of your support and i'm thankful for you guys listening watching um and all of this stuff um you know in the show notes down in the description of the video if you're watching this on the youtube platform those are the ways that you can support midgard musings um monetarily if you want but again just being here listening being a part of it i appreciate all of you and I want to say thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support. I've had a lot of people lately, um, recently, who know my situation um, that have reached out and have done, you know, kind of like temperature checks. Hey, man, you're doing okay. You need to talk. You need to vent. That means so, so much. Uh, and, and, you know, you can't, Sometimes you can, I think, judge or, or gauge emotion through written text. But for everybody who has reached out and who has talked to me and who has sent a message on Facebook or has sent me a text message or has called or whatever, my face, my, my voice, thank you. Thank you so very much for checking in on me while I've been in the dark. Hey, you need me to turn the light on? You need to talk, you know. You need a shoulder to cry on or, or whatever like that. And I'm getting a little bit emotional and I'm sorry, but, it, you know, it's. You guys, have, it, it, like you, you, you don't know. Really and truly. How much. You have helped. And thank you. Thank you for sticking through. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for just not, you know, writing me off just yet. And I want to repay that. I want to bring the things that I've obligated myself to do for the community. I want to bring it back. And you are all here for it. So. Thank you. Um, that 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 pretty much just you know <laughs> that pretty much is it. Um, like I said, today's uh, podcast isn't going to be like any other podcast. It's 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 more of a just a a check in, a thank you, 
bit of transparency. And you all have been great. You really have. And I want to thank you so much for all of your ongoing and constant support. So please, before we end this podcast, take care of yourselves. Take care of those, you know, in your family, in your lives. Family doesn't just mean blood, guys. I've come to find that out lately. That family extends way beyond DNA, way beyond blood. Tell your family that you love them. Check in on each other. You guys have helped me a lot, and you've taught me a lot throughout all this, and I thank you for it. So until we talk again in the next podcast, which will hopefully be very, very soon with some guests, with some friends, talking about all kinds of things, until that time, hail, be well, and we'll see you soon.